Alrighty then, hello there everybody, this is Norris and I'm bringing you, uh... I believe this is session 9 of Dead Space, I'm not entirely sure because it's been like... I don't know, two months since I actually recorded a session. <laughs> so, wait, hang on, let, let me check something, uh... Okay, yeah, that's what it is. Minimum brightness. I just found the munitions log for the Valor. I don't think their presence here is I can barely see they're anything. Not on reconnaissance and they're not on patrol. Perfect! This ship is prepped for war. They're on a secret destroying mission. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. You don't have to shout. I think I've lost him again. No signal from Hammond's rig. Find the singularity core and get the hell out of there. Wonder if I have anything to up. Uh, no, I don't. Crap. Well, whatever. I guess I will just continue on my journey. I'm gonna have to rely on the flashlight a lot more than I did before since I changed the brightness so much. Line rags, don't need those, so I'll just sell them. Alright, so, uh, hang on. It is currently 12.27 a.m. on Friday, July 15th. Uh, I have my window closed, the lights off, basically everything that produces light has been closed off, except for maybe, like, uh, the little green lights from, like, the on and off switches on, like, my Xbox and microphone, but that's about it. You know what, I should actually reduce the brightness to my computer a little bit, so that way it's not so distracting. That'll work. Uh, wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, that's right, I was selling uh, line racks. Now oh, then, uh, as I recall, I do get the level 10, level 10, level 5 suit in chapter 10. It's like 50,000 credits or so. It's either 50 or 60, so you will have to save up my credits in order to buy that. River blades, more stuff to sell. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's kind of the good thing about doing like a plasma cutter only run through is that uh, there's only one type of ammo that I will ever need and that's the plasma energy. So anything else I pick up is just like monies, which I can use to buy power nodes and all that kind of stuff. I'm not really sure why I need power nodes other than to maybe access like a uh, power node rooms because I pretty much upgraded everything that I need. I mean, I got my full health, I got my uh, fully upgraded plasma cutter, plasma cutter, plasma cutter. Uh, there's not really that much I s need to upgrade, so yeah. Big green balls floating in space. Entering zero gravity. Isaac, one of the Valor's weapons ripped open in the crash. Those green orbs you see are highly radioactive, and the Valor's airlock has sealed itself. You're going to have to throw those into space. Big green balls of cancer. Wait, can I stop on this? Conserving ammo! I'm a cheap person. Nah, I'm not a cheap person. I'm actually quite a big spender. Uh, I rarely hold on to money that I get. I always have to buy stuff. Oh god, the frame rate just went to crap. Oh hey, the, this uh, suit has a guy- oh! Frick. Alright. Yep. And baby. Err. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Sorry. Uh. You two. Die. Die. Thank you. Yeah, that thing is going off the charts. Should probably get rid of this before I die of uh, radiation poisoning. Radioactive material removed. You know, just refill my oxygen. You know, just to be on the safe side, because I can. Radioactive 
Radioactive material removed. I'm flying. Uh. Uh. It bounced off of the freaking necromorph god. You jerk. My aim sucks. No, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. God, these things are so hard to see. I don't even know. If, okay, I guess I'm shooting them since its head fell off. You know what? You're, uh, these things eat up so many bullets. I right, gotta go refill my oxygen. Kind of need air to breathe because breathing makes me live longer. It's simple logic. There, get, get, bring it, baby, get, get, I love children. All right, that's more monies. Uh, see what's in here. Uh, small first aid. All right, that baby's dead. Just wanted to make sure if I wasn't seeing. Where's that last green ball of radioactiveness? Hello. Hello. If you come out, I'll give you a piece of candy. No, seriously, I have some Tic Tacs here. They're orange flavored. I mean, I like them. Uh, there you are. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to have everything. Uh, blah, blah, blah. My, I are good at English. But anyways, yeah, I'm so used to having like everything fully upgraded, including like my telekinesis having like super massive range and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure I saw boxes in here. I'm gonna try to see if I can pick up the stuff in there first. Since they're probably are okay, there it is. Yeah, there probably aren't gonna be any more necromorphs since I cleared everything, and I have two oxygen recharges here, so I'm pretty much I can pretty much stay in this room for as long as I want without any problems. All right, leap to the ship. Run in the ship. Get in the ship. You see those things? Those are twitchers. They are ridiculously fast. Oh wait, I opened that. Yeah, I probably picked like the worst time to uh, put down my brightness to like the bare minimum. Considering now, they just now introduced like the fastest enemies in the game. The ones that will like get in your face and go No, No seriously, these dudes are freaking crazy. If you hear like uh, the noises that they make, oh my goodness. Did anybody else hear that? I'm pretty sure you could hear it if I could hear it because apparently on like a... Uh... Yeah, do you see him shaking there? I'm not sure if you can, but... Yeah, he's definitely shaking there. But anyways, yeah, uh... Apparently the sound on like the actual recording is like... 10 times... Well, not 10 times, that's way too much. Like three times louder than what I'm actually hearing on the TV, so this, this thing is like gonna come out really freaking loud, so I'm gonna have to actually reduce that volume. Dead volume! Be making people go deaf! They all have built-in stasis units in their body armor. The infection is merging the stasis unit into their flesh or something, making them move fast. Real fast. Be careful. Why does Hammond always have to explain something using an adjective? and then following it with real, and then the adjective again. It's like, I saw something out there. It was big. Really big. Stasis modules have merged into their flesh, making them move fast. Real fast. 
I guess he just likes the word. Anna! Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me. There's this like a mini game in here. It's like a shooting range, but it doesn't really have to do anything with the actual game. It's just sort of like a side thing that'll give you like bonus items and all that kind of stuff. So I think I might do it, but I'll just cut it out of the video. Yeah, see, the thing is, is that I just recently, like, played this level, like... I just wasted so much ammo killing this guy. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, uh... I recently, like, uh, played through this level in, like, the... Maybe past couple of weeks, so... Yeah, see, see that? That is freaking fast, my... God. Anyways, yeah, I remember... I guess I wouldn't say it was like the past week and like the past... Hang on. I played it recently to the point at which I remember some of the things that... Like some of where the enemies spawn and all that kind of stuff. I don't remember all of it. I'm probably gonna get... Uh... So startled. <laughs> Shut up, Nicole. But anyways, yeah, I'm probably gonna get startled every now and then. Like, uh, what happened, like, 30 seconds ago when that one, like, ran around the corner. Wasn't expecting that one, so. Uh, I think I'll just leave you there since it keeps that light on. And from what I understand, light is good in this game. It lets me see things. Gotta get rid of, rid of as many of those trash things as possible. So, like I said, uh, if you find like a collection of bodies and there aren't any necromorphs, I think I just picked up the gold skin. But anyways, yeah, if you find like uh, a collection of dead bodies but no necromorphs around or anything like that, just go ahead and delimb them because every now and then the game will decide to spawn one of those. Uh, I'm gonna call them bats. How's about Zubats? Because they're equally annoying as Zubats. Uh, anyways, yeah, they'll occasionally spawn them and uh, create Necromorphs in there. So yeah, just go ahead and stomp all the bodies. Like, get rid of the limbs and stuff so that way they can't make any Necromorphs. I know it can look like it's a tedious process that takes forever and all that kind of stuff, but in the long run, it'll be worth it. I mean, especially on higher difficulties. I mean, on the difficulty I'm playing on now, I could probably handle them, and they'll give me items and stuff, but I just really do not want to deal with it. Uh, where was I supposed to go? In there. Okay. Upper deck. Well, see, do I want to try to go for the cargo room and see if there's anything extra in there? Okay, there's nothing here. So, anyways, yeah. Try to open the door. Back up in this corner. Yep, see? There's the Zubat. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you shoot these things, they don't really have a weak point, except for that little tentacle thing that they use to, like, produce necromorphs, but they don't really, like, uh, pull it out, I guess you could say, all that often. Anyways, yeah, that was a situation where if I didn't stomp on them, they'd try to bring back the bodies and make things just a little bit more difficult for me. And I really did not want to deal with that. Can't these things be more subtle? Like, seriously, every single time someone starts, like, a video chat with me, it always starts out, like,
If you leave now, you condemn all humanity. The planet will never stop, never rest unless the marker is returned. Don't you see? The church is wrong. This is all a trap. I've seen well, it. See, the thing is, is that this planet is like, what, millions of light years away from Earth? So... Basically, you'd just be leaving this planet to, uh... To, uh... How should I describe this in a way that would, uh... Be somewhat offensive, yet not quite offensive to the point at which it's just ridiculous. Uh... But still proving a point. I'm really full already? I guess I could use that. Get the full health. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but right now. But when I figure out how to do it, I'll be sure to get back to you. Unless I forget. What was I gonna talk about again? Uh, ah, these lanky dudes. Ah, uh, this is a situation where I wish I had my force gun. It's really easy to take all of these little things out in just like one go. Uh, Explode arms! I seriously waste too much ammo. I guess I need to find a shop soon too. Well, at least like uh, their blood and entrails and stuff glow, so that lights up a little bit, like the scenery and stuff. And especially like their glowing arms, like it's pretty much impossible not to see it. Gotta watch out for these things. I remember all the way back in like chapter four, I walked into one of these twice. Oh god, that was awful. Commander Cadigan, we have hostiles on board. This is not a drill. Hostiles are aliens. Repeat, alien and extremely dangerous. Yep, this is that shooting range I was talking have about. Ready and fire at will. All right. So, anyways, yeah, I think I will. Uh, do the shooting range because one of the rewards is a rupee semiconductor and the other one is a power node. So anyways, yeah, I'll see you soon. Super practical editing powers activate. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm back. Screw it. I'm getting annoyed by this thing. I'm done. Uh, forgot to upgrade. Whatever it is, I feel like upgrading. Uh... Do I want to... You know what, screw it, I'll use the range. I thought I had... I, I, you know what, whatever. I'm just stupid. Screw it. Let's just... Let's just... I, I can't even formulate proper... Anyways, yeah, let's just uh, keep going. Sorry about your leg and all. Shame you have to lose the other one. And your arms. And your head. I don't like demons. Especially ones that try to kill me. Well, really, those are the only ones that, that I don't really like. Friendly demons are... They're alright. I uh, don't need to recharge my stasis since I haven't used it at all. Hey there, buddy. Bye there, buddy. Lasers are not your friend in this game. Very few things in this game are your friend. Uh, I guess I could drop like the uh, stasis pack. Alright. Let's see if I remember the controls for using stasis. Alright. Problem is, I used it at the wrong time. I guess that kind of counts as suicide. Attempted murder suicide. They happen more often than you think. Alright, do I hear it? Yep. 
Stop getting around everywhere, it makes you hard to- Oh, jeez, no. I do not like you being right next to me. Dead. Something. Fan blade. Uh, so yeah, technically it's something, but it's not something I can use. Uh, Money's. It. All right. Well. Uh, okay, you're gonna get annoying. All right. Uh, I think I know what's in this room, and if it is what I think it is, oh god, I don't like this part. Yeah, I don't like this part. Back in the corner. Dude, why do they have to turn off all the lights? That's what I don't understand. I mean, at least keep the lights on. Seriously. I don't really care if I waste bullets to kill these guys, I'm just trying to kill them from as far away as possible. Besides, I can just, like, buy more ammo. I have, I have a lot of today. Uh, with a baby is actually with a fully upgraded plasma cutter. I think it takes just about as many shots if you shoot them in the body than it does if you actually shoot them in the tentacles. Baby. See, the thing is, is that I'm only seeing these guys because of their silhouettes. It's not like I'm actually... Alright, I think I blew up- oh, gee- no! You can just back off! Alright. Although, I do like the fact that it tells you when there's- really not going to be any more necromorphs in here. Tis a blessing and a curse. Because it tells you that they're here, and it tells you that they're gone. Like, for reals, gone. And I dropped a pretty decent amount of plasma uh, energy, so... Uh... Alright. Uh... I'll drop some of the line racks, because... While money is important, having crap loads of ammunition is a lot more important to me because I generally just do not give a crap about accuracy. I will kill you by shooting you wherever I feel like shooting you. Large med pack. I'll just use like a medium med pack and then pick it up. It's worth it in the long run. Uh, pick. No, wait, I opened it and it was like a stasis pack, so whatever. So anyways, yeah, like, no ruby semiconductor, no power node. Don't really need them anyways. Well, I could use the money, but I'm pretty sure I'll collect enough by the end of this experience to be able to afford the, uh, level 5 suit. Alright. Uh, and a store. Finally. Uh, move that. One, two, three. Move that. So you. So you. Now see, look at that. I already have enough to uh, buy it. Alright, I can expend a little more money to buy plasma energy. Alright. Uh, all right, I'm good. I am good. Are you guys good? Cause I'm good.
Uh, walking around everywhere, exploring the ship. Dead bodies everywhere. I didn't kill them. At least not yet. Good. Ragdoll physics for the win. <laughs> Okay, that's a dude who's still alive. I have no clue how because apparently these uh, highly armed, well-trained marines aren't able to take down what I've been killing for like the past... I'm not really sure what the time lapse is, depending on how long he's been riding the tram. I'm guessing it's been like maybe seven or eight hours that they've been on here. Maybe a day. Uh, there's no way it's a day. Like, seven or eight hours. That's what I'm guessing. But still, well-armed, highly trained marines can't take down these guys yet. I'm just an engineer. And I can... And I am owning these guys. I am owning them so badly. These guys clearly are an MLG. Well, at least I can see in this room. Give me the ammo. Shops are really nice because it allows me to offload all of my crap. And it gives me money for it. Even if it is absolute crap that I don't even need. Fire is hot. Ah, oh, I missed. Hurry up and do your thing. Why would you do a second one? Oh, good, good. Dummy. All right, this time just one slap. Thank you. Uh, from what? Uh, I've gathered from previous experience and all that kind of stuff is don't do that like I practically threw the thing exposed myself but you really don't want to move when the uh, jet activated I, I find I burn myself a lot when I moved when uh, the jets activated so yeah just wait and go wait And go. Okay. What is this thing trapped on? Never bring it over. Alright, you know what? No. No. Bad turbine. Now I have to heal. Frick. Why does the telekinesis have to launch the thing so far ahead of you? You see that? That's a good, like, five feet. Oh. It's a lot farther back than I expected. Scoot it for a little bit more. Back up. Oh yeah, that's right. It's uh since I got them all, things don't activate anymore, so I grabbed the singularity core. And everything starts exploding. Because apparently uh when you shut off the engines to a ship, everything just suddenly starts to explode. This game is logical. Alright. I'm pretty sure I have excessive amounts of... Yeah, that's quite a bit. 
Hey Hammond, how you doing? Yeah, I already saw you. I already greeted you. Why did you have to stay over here? No. Oh. I believe that is a uh, a super brute and. That looks painful. Really painful. Yeah. Come on, curl up in a ball. You can do it. You can do it. That a boy. All right. Where's your little yellow thing? God, I can't see it. So oh, freaking dark, I can't see his weak point. Ah, Craig. Is he dead? Nope, not dead yet. It's still alive. Oh, God. Why would you die? Thank you. I think this calls for a large lead lead med pack. Oh god. It's just us now, Isaac. Yeah. Hammond dies. Diamond semiconductor, that's like twenty-five grand right there. But anyways, yeah. Sorry, Hammond. Dude! Yeah, I I do not. I do not want to deal with a Hammond Necromorph. That, that just sounds unpleasant. Okay, now I need to recharge my stasis, but now it's probably not going to give it to me. Alright, will it? Oh god, everything's blowing up around me. No, it's not going to give me a stasis recharge. Because, yep, turning off the ship makes the en- wait, turning off the engines makes the fuel explode. Because apparently nothing in this game has safety features. Screw that, I'm getting my money and stomping off this dude's legs and arms. Cause screw personal safety, I just want to be safe. I'm rich. This is a pretty long uh elevator ride. Alright. Stuff is blowing up everywhere. Cool guys don't look at explosions. They turn their backs and walk away. I totally did not look at that explosion. I'm so cool. Uh... So... Oh god, I looked at the I looked at the explosion. I'm not cool anymore. No. All right. Anyways, yeah, that was pretty much uh, chapter nine. Yeah. Uh. Let me share the stuffers. Wait, now I can actually afford to buy like a... No, I don't want to sell plasma energy. I kind of use that. Uh... Now I can afford to buy uh... <laughs> power notes. And upgrade my stuff. Um, 
I love how we're at like the end of the chapter yet I'm still dragging things out so much. I don't know why I upgraded that. I mean, I don't even really need it anymore. Oh, whatever. All right. Oh yeah, and uh, about chapter seven and eight. Uh, apparently, uh, the video files got corrupted for both of those. So yeah, sorry about that. This is like the glitchiest let's play of all time. Seriously. And I know I'm wasting a lot of your time with this buying and selling and upgrading stuff and yada 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 yada. It's important to the plot! But anyways, yeah, that was session 9. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you later. Bye bye now.